you haven't been through what I've been through. I like how you get away from the hood and act as if you're too good to visit. Tell me what is it? You're your biggest critic, critic and acting as if everyone is hating on you really makes me live it. Even though I had I hated every single minute of foster care, I still have gratitude because it exposed all the fakes, snakes who can't escape, family members with tri similar traits, and how from the start I was born to be great. Just from what I said, I know someone would hate. This, my friend, is nothing but straight, and I wait until someone helps you translate and understand that you can't stop fate, and no matter what, I'll always be screaming checkmate. The truth is something you mistake, and all your playmates can never relate. No one hated on you. You was the one who said cruel things to me, saying that my life will be a disaster. Playing the role of a forecaster, jealousy you mastered, thereafter and now hereafter, I still have the laughter because what you wish for has never been in my chapter. And I thank the man because, above because he's the real planner. And you knew all from the start that you were about to slander. You can't look at me, at me now. It's like you see something that you fear. I sense the nervousness and how you're choked up when you're near. What's funny is you're like that because everything you wish for has never happened and it's clear. I guess you thought I wasn't going to persevere. I guess you thought all the stuff you were saying was going to throw me in high gear. That nonsense is so used to you. And see, I want to ask you to take back what you said because everything you said, you said from the heart. But here's what set us apart. You said nothing positive and still try to tear me apart. But I choose not to take apart and instead have the better heart. Being angry and drunk is when a person speaks the most realest things on their chest. Yes, you confess. Let all the evil that you manifest, the feelings you suppress and what you do best, infest, infest those on lives that you thought you can address. You get nicer things and downgrade anyone who can't meet your standards. You're boasting how you're one of the answers, but still unhappy looking for some answers. Too bad your so-called support system couldn't help you guide you with your standards or correct you in your manners. You make posts claiming how you just want to make someone smile. Can't be there for your brother while he's at trial. Can't even drive a mile to find out what's going on with your little sister because that's not your style. Everything about you is not worthwhile. Everybody you're friends with, you talked about them like a dog. Jumping both ways like a frog. Acting like you're putting in work by going on jobs and trying to inspire people with your monologue. You use people and swear that your success was all you, acting like what you said about me was so true, so you run to people who had no clue, because one, they would believe you, and two, they knew nothing about you, so they got a different way to perceive you. You spread false rumors about how you had it so restrictive, how apparently getting in trouble to you was addictive, how your memories are so afflictive. I've been, on, I've been caught on how you wanted attention, so everything you said was predictive. You got all these guns, but I still sense fear. The reason why you don't come here or even come near is the same reason why all this stuff I'm saying you don't want to hear. I know you just wish your past would disappear. You put my grandma names on your gloves for some attention, a creative way to get someone to listen. You wasn't that close with her, you forgot to mention the fact that you used my deceased grandmother to get some attention with me. Really creates some tension. You can't tell me that wasn't your intention. You and all your associates think I'm supposed to watch my back? You think I'm going to... You're going to throw me off track, make me fall back, see some discipline you, you lack. No matter how much you and them try to attack, you can't make me drop back. I'm highly disgusted at how you blew your foster care journey out of proportion. Tell me, since 2011, you was only in one residential placement. You wasn't living on your own in the basement, trying to figure out how you find entertainment because it's too expensive to make a payment, or try to figure out what kind of food to make that will last, making the best of your situation. Your story causes me so much amazement. Kiss and bust at your pavement. But you did all that, and you're still feeling out of placement. Me saying this is still an understatement, because I really tried to be patient. You don't know what it feels like to really struggle and take a loss. Be a boss, because everyone you come across have traits like you and decide to double cross, so you triple check everyone you ever had to run across. See, this is something you never even had to cut across. See? Don't hit me with no, I'm from the hood crap, because we were in the same land with different dreams, different views on different things, the difference is our value. The importance of a team, those in bloodstream, and I don't care about being mainstream. But to you, you take it to the extreme. I don't mind being a lone wolf, but to you, reputation takes the prize. To the point where to keep it up, you have to look someone in the eye and lie, constantly deny, and put on this facade like you're a good guy. If I had to do all that, I'd rather just die. You haven't been through what I've been through, not even close. Going to convoy really turned you into a ghost. Got you doing the most, but it's really a decision, so I believe you'll always be toast. You'll forever be gross. I'll probably be upset later about how I dress, but you know, this is the way that I love getting things off my chest. I don't need to express because I know God knows the rest. You know, no one can ever tell me that Mary wasn't the best. I am forever blessed.